How's it going? So today I'm going to go rip around on my Molo 5 10,000 watt hyper scooter. Do some speed run, see how fast I can get it. So, uh, yep, let's go. Alright, it's been a little while since I've been on this thing. Been riding my little uh, pit bike a lot. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get a full speed run because there's not a whole lot of spots that are long enough and they don't have a ton of traffic and the roads aren't beat up. So, but I'll try. Try a few times and do some speed run, see what, see what we can get. I'm gonna be selling this Molo 5 here. I think I'll sell it for 3000 in Houston just because I want to get the uh, new model. There's a 2024 model. So anything you order off my store, like if you order one of these off my store, you're gonna get the new 2024 model. But they have a variant that I want to try. It's a, uh, this one's a 10 kilowatt, that one's a 15 kilowatt. And this one's a 50 amp hour and you can get it with a 70 amp hour. But with a 70 amp hour, you lose your trunk because instead of having that extra trunk space back there, you get an extra battery. So it's actually two batteries. They throw an extra 20 amp hour battery back there. So yeah, I just want to sell this and get that one. And then I'll think what I'll do is I'm just going to sell that variant, the 15 kilowatt with a 70 amp hour. Most people just want the highest power, longest range version anyways. After getting used to my uh, pit bike, which is like just super freaking torquey, it's Jumping back up on this thing feels a lot different because it doesn't pick up nearly as fast. Once you get going, it's fast. So 53 as high as I could get it right there. Huh. The fastest I've gotten it is 55. But that was on the, the screens, which is it seems to be pretty pretty fast. Got it wide open. Yeah, not enough room. Yeah, I'm gonna say 55 is the top speed. I, I mean I might have had a got up to 53 right there. If I had a little more room, I might have been able to squeeze a couple more miles an hour out of it. But yeah, it's it's right around 55 miles an hour they claim 70 miles an hour there's just simply no way it's gonna go 70 miles an hour maybe in free spin yeah so I mean it was pretty scary riding at 53 miles an hour on this thing anyway so I don't even think you want to go over like 45 on it it's pretty sketch over 45 so if you're really looking for something that's gonna go 60 70 miles an hour consistently and that's you're actually going to be driving that speed and then you probably don't want this thing let's see how many miles do i have on this thing all right i got 148 miles on this thing though so hey if, you, if you're in houston or somewhere nearby austin or wherever you want to buy this off me i'll give it to you for three thousand thirty two hundred new and plus you don't have to wait for the eight weeks for shipping yeah, a lot, a lot of the orders that I got, and well, I haven't got a lot of orders, but the orders that I did get were, it took a lot longer than they did before because I had two orders before Chinese New Year, and then th it took them a week to ship. And then after, because they shut, the whole country shuts down for manufacturing for about a month. I'm gonna check out those turtles. Isn't that cute? You can see there's a bunch of them floating in the water right there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the whole country shuts down for about a month. So I originally estimated eight weeks for delivery. Now, I mean, they're starting to pick up again. So all the orders, except for one that I have, have shipped, so that's good. And uh, the most recent order, you know, hasn't been very long. So I think they're at about two weeks now from order to ship. So it's about nine. But I just updated my estimate time on my store from eight to 12 weeks, somewhere in there for delivery. I mean, they're all coming from China, so it doesn't matter who you order from, me or someone else, you're still gonna wait that long because it's the same manufacturer. Except if you wanna order, so right now they're delivering in like 10 days, 10 to days to two weeks for the the same bike with the 10,000 watts, 50 amp hours uh, with the trunk, but it's black and red color with RGB. And those are in stock in the US. So you can order that on my store and you'll get that within two weeks. But that's the only one they have in stock in the US. I would love it if they would just make a bunch of these and ship them to the US, to their US warehouse. I don't understand why they don't, but they just don't. So if you, if you want one of these and you don't want to wait, just order the black and red with RGB in the trunk. That one's 3,400. You get it within a couple couple weeks. So another news on my channel, I got a couple of bikes coming. 
One's coming soon, should ship, ship from China like next week. And that's a little pit bike, 72 volt pit bike. I'll put a picture of it here. I can't wait for that one. Cause these pit bikes are where it's at, man. They are freaking fun as hell. They're funner than Surons for sure. I mean, they're funner than everything. They're funner than this. I like my little pit bike better than this. I ride it a lot more than this now. It doesn't have nearly the, the range as this because it only has like a 28 amp hour battery. This one's 50, 72 volts 50. And that one's 72 volts, 28 amp hours. Oh, cool. Check out this caterpillar. Yeah, it turned out to be such a beautiful day. It's like 70, gotta be 75 degrees. The winds are coming from the north, so it's blowing all the uh, humidity back out to the Gulf of Mexico. So it's nice and, and dry. It's not humid. It's perfect weather. Oh, one thing about this bike that I haven't told you guys yet is that I have a full throttle. You see how it's like a half throttle? You know, this part turns right here. So I have a full throttle with the same connection as this at home. And I put it on and tried it. And then when I put it on, the bike just started like jerking. I was like, oh shit. So I disconnected it and put this one back on. Now, when I open it all the way up full throttle, it cuts out. Like the, the throttle position is weird when it's all the way open. I have to lift off like a little tiny bit for it to go. So if you are thinking about buying this, that's, you know, an issue. I mean, it's not an issue for me because, you know, I never full throttle it, but I've seen some cool stuff in here. I, thought, I saw an alligator in here the other day, and I saw like a giant goldfish. It looked like a regular goldfish, not like a, a koi, but like, you know, goldfish someone would have in their fish tank. And it just it got dumped in here, and it, it, got, it must have been like a, like a size of like a three pound bass or something. It's just a huge goldfish. Usually they'll just take off right away if you roll up on them, but that one doesn't seem to mind too much. Oh, there he goes. You know, I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried climbing this hill over here. There's like a little hill right here. But a lot of times I'll go and I'll, I'll see how easily bikes can uh, climb that. Yeah, that was with momentum, but... Whoa! Let's start from a full stop and see how well it goes. Alright, I'll just start from right here. <laughs> it's not going <laughs> so this thing can't handle super steep hills I mean this is, you can't really tell on the camera that's super steep it's not something you would face like on a road or something I mean it took it no problem when it, when it had momentum but so if you're unfamiliar with this model 5 hyper scooter just like watch my previous videos on it but I can give you quick stats it has dual motors so it has two 5,000 watt motors it has a 50 amp hour 72 volt battery they claim 70 miles an hour, but what we just seen, it's no, there's no way it's going to go 75 miles an hour or 70, whatever. They claim something like that, but I think 55 is probably where most people are going to max out. Maybe you'll get 60 if you're like really light. Like I'm 265 pounds, so, you know, if you're 100 pounds less than me, you you know, you, maybe you'll hit 60 something, but not 70. There's no way. To me, like, I don't, I don't care at all that it only goes 55. I mean, <laughs> 55 on this thing's way too fast anyway, so. I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments what I should buy next because I'm selling this and I'm selling my Tolari Triple X. And I was just going to, I think I'm going to run a survey once I sell my Triple X to see what I should buy next. But I'll let you guys decide. All right, anyways. Adios.